Covering the rise in market share of Linux may seem simple, but it gets more complicated as you break it down. Since Android is based on the Linux kernel and global operating system market share has Android at 43%, the number one place, wouldn't that mean Linux already won and we can end the discussion here? Well, when people say Linux, they usually mean common distributions like Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch, and so on. So we'll stick first to the desktop market share rather than mobile. But before discussing number of Linux users, it's worth mentioning something that could skew these statistics. That is the privacy measures many Linux users take to ensure their personal data isn't collected. This very data that SEO and analytics companies use to provide these reports. Ad blockers such as uBlock Origin will block or filter out tracking scripts that websites use to gather data about users' operating systems and other details. Other than custom scripts, this data can be found in your user agent, something that is included in the header of every HTTP GET request, which, if you're curious, can be found by typing in window.navigator.useragent in the developer tools. And that is your personal identifier which much of this data is collected from. Back to the market share, StatCounter, which is the most liberal estimate, shows Linux desktop worldwide reached just under 4% this year, up from 3% in 2023. The increase is more pronounced in the United States, at 3.7% up from 2% last year, nearly doubling. Those in India use Linux the most, at 14%, which brings the global average up significantly. This is due to several reasons. One, India is a developing country. Not everyone can afford a computer with an i9 processor and 30 gigs of RAM. Sometimes all they have is an old laptop where installing a Linux distro brings it back to life. Schools and governments adopt Linux to cut costs, as Windows can be expensive due to their licenses, not to mention increased risk of malware and cybersecurity threats. As a response, the Indian Defense Research and Development Organization forked their own distribution of Ubuntu called Maya OS. So, Linux in India is less expensive, more secure, and widely adopted. This also could be due to many in India choosing fields like engineering, including computer science. Another reason for the adoption of Linux worldwide is its user-friendliness compared to 20 years ago. In the late 90s and early 2000s, installing Linux meant purchasing a floppy drive, partitioning hard drive space, and manually configuring and installing X Windows programs from the terminal. Nowadays, it's much more approachable with the streamlined installation process. In fact, during my last few installs of Fedora, I don't even remember needing to open the terminal once. Besides India driving the global market share and Linux being more approachable and user-friendly nowadays, the third possible reason is Microsoft just not caring about Windows as much as the 90s and 2000s. Currently, Windows represents only 12% of total revenue, far surpassed by Azure cloud products and services, as well as Office subscriptions. Anyways, aside from that 4% figure from StatCounter, we have a more conservative estimate from Steam, hovering just below 2%. Now, of course, these are Steam users where gaming isn't as supported on Linux, as opposed to Windows. Either way, this number doubles since 2020, where market share was reported at just 0.9%. So whether you're looking at StatCounter or Steam's report, Linux desktop usage has been increasing considerably over the past few years. So that is the video. Uh, if you liked this format where I pre-write a transcript um, and do the kind of scripted version, uh, let me know, like, comment, tell me what you think. And that pretty much sums it up. Linux is a topic that I'm interested in as a hobby as well as on the professional level. Um, I do know a lot about Linux. I'm, in fact, am Linux Plus certified, um, which is kind of the more lowly uh, CompTIA certification. But either way, I have a huge compilation of those notes, and that knowledge is still in my head. Uh, if you'd like, I can make uh, much more detailed uh, technical videos on Linux, such as navigating the terminal and, and partitioning hard disks and configuring networking or really doing just about anything. So uh, let me know if you like the more technical uh, terminal like commands and all this kind of stuff or the more uh, broad uh, videos like this where I cover um, large like market trends or possibly open source content such as like Microsoft, uh, Google, 
and Red Hat being the primary uh, open source contributors, um, I could talk about more macro level, large things like that as well. So let me know what you think.